Today on Toy Shiz, we got the new new for 22. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the latest He-Man Origins Wave 7. I can't believe it's already Wave 7, but these are starting to hit Target stores. And that's where I found mine. So we have the Sorceress, classic-looking Sorceress, looking great. Packaging, again, says new for 22. Finally, we can say that and make it sound good. On the back side, you get all the figures. You get the gorgeous artwork. You get a little bit of a bio for her. She delves in the pool of power. Didn't know that. But hey, I'm ready for all these evil characters to get made. That's for sure. And then you get the rest of the cross-sells for every character in this wave. If you want to go ahead and screen grab her barcode, you can do that to scan in store. Then we have a very comic book-ish Stratos. And this artwork is amazing. Whatever this mole rat octopus thing is, Mattel, please make this. That looks amazing. Here's the barcode as well for the nude comic book Stratos. And then you have a new character, Jitsu, evil master of martial arts. And again, love the art. That is very cool. He's a bad guy for Skeletor. I'm learning, right? <laughs> and then, my god, probably the greatest of the wave. Probably the greatest of the line so far. We have Buzz Off, or how I know him as, Bumblebee Man from The Simpsons. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up with He-Man. My God, is it just bat poop. Anyways, here's the barcode for Buzz Off as well. Now, if you're interested, each one of these comes with a comic book. They're all the same. This is the challenge of the Jitsu friends, and then you can open it up and read all about it and guess what it's got all the characters from the wave in it minus the comic book stratos he's just regular stratos but in either case this is going to be fun sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot eternian cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new new for 22 mattel he-man origins wave 7 and hey, while I got you guys here, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Old Toys Do Toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Now, let's start it off with Stratos. And he, I mean, <laughs> he looks naked, to be honest with you, but he's like a furry naked. I don't know how that works, but he's got some great reds and blues and yellows going on it's basically the same stratos he even has little clip-on wings right there everything looks good everything works fine it's the same articulation in either case while it it's <laughs> it's very interesting you know what I mean? you could put some maybe it's some nude pants on one of the other characters that'd be kind of funny but for me it's cool to have a comic book version of stratos but it's really just kind of another character within the race of whatever stratos is and then you got jitsu and he comes with a orange sword and it looks good it's a little flexible sword nicely detailed no paint on it jitsu looks great he's one of those standout figures from the wave i really like the gold and the red and he also has a very cool face on him he's got like the grit and teeth i like that a whole heck of a lot the shiny gold that they used for his karate chop kind of gauntlet or whatever he's doing is great it's got the whole Aladdin and the King of Thieves vibe going on, right? The Hand of Midas. <laughs> if anybody remembers that. But on the backside, the paint continues. So overall, I'm very happy with the way this guy came out. He's very different. He's very cool. Very happy to have another minion of Skeletor. And then you have the Sorceress. She comes with her Sorceress staff. And it's all one white colored piece, which... I mean, it could have had a little bit more paint here and there. But yeah, this is basically like the Sorceress that came with the Castle Grayskull. I still have mine packaged up. Don't worry. I'm going to have a big video at the end of the year showing off all the toys and opening up the castle. But I absolutely love the colors on this figure. I love the backside. love the way they did that. I love the way the wings open up. This is a very cool looking character. Very 70s, 80s-ish. And I totally dig that. She's got those new knees. They'll rock. She also has boots articulation as well so that'll spin right there so overall very much a great articulation scheme to her gorgeous paint love the headdress too love the eyes and such you're not going to get a lot of head movement out of her because of the headdress but for what it does i mean it works now just as a heads up in the instruction booklet which i love the artwork for all of these things you can see it says all of these are removable parts so the boots and the hands and everything else so, you can pop the waist off, the boots, the hands, and everything else, and start building out the female figures. So, that is pretty cool to see. 
stand out from the wave. Highly recommend, if any, if you grab them. She just looks fantastic. But not as fantastic as Buzz Off. My God, this is amazing. It's a B-Man, because, you know, why not, right? He comes with a all-solid brown-colored axe. He doesn't hold it the best, because he have li- he's got, like, little clamps, you know? Instead of uh, actual hands, but uh, he's just, that's a cool looking character. What an 80s looking weirdo character. (laughs) Helmet comes off, you get to see his face and his little bee eyes and nose, and he's got vampire fangs. I mean, I'm glad that he has, what is it, helmet and goggles basically for this guy. I didn't know that that came off. I thought that was all one piece, but that's pretty cool to see. I do wish that it kind of came down more over his eyes. I think that would have been beneficial, but uh, yeah. You can swap out the arms and such. You can see his little clamps right here. You can give him the clamps. Give Skeletor the clamps. But overall, I'd say this. Really nice sculpted detail all over. The textures on this guy really does stand out. And then you got these really cool, I guess, biomechanical wings or techno wings or Jack Kirby line wings, whatever you want to call them. That's my favorite part. And they open up and they stay up and then like a translucent yellow. So again... This guy is just a standout to me. He's a lot of fun. He's a bigger figure, and the wings just really make it. Again, with the weapon, I mean, you make it fit. You got to push it into his claw and everything. I really wish that maybe something that could have slipped over his hand. I don't know. It just kind of looks weird, to be honest. I'd say that's the only detraction, if any. But, yeah, you can pull them apart and swap out the pieces. So, definitely loving Buzz Off. (laughs) And you can see the differences between the two magic wielders on good and evil. And then you can see the difference of the knees. I think the new sorceress gets the betterment of the knees. Sentinel should take a page for that one. Here she is with He-Man and Fisto. Yeah, I've been reading up on stuff. Trying to learn my He-Man a lot better. Then you got Stratos. Again, it's kind of like the whole Beast Man thing where it could be a comic book version or just another stratos person and you can give mr t the high five karate chop if you wanted to go (laughs) that route which that's really cool i love the armors on these guys and then you got the whole martial arts masters of evil right there but this is cool you got the bug army mosquito you got web store now you got buzz off every single creature becomes a thing (laughs) and he man apparently this is another fun wave i mean if i had to pick and choose I would say Stratos is kind of at the bottom just because we've already got him. But in terms of like the motif, Jitsu kind of messes this up because all the characters fly in this wave except for Jitsu. They should have given Jitsu some wings or jetpack or something like that because every other character can fly and do the whole soaring around thing. But in either case, I think it's another solid wave. Very happy with these. It's a guilty pleasure. So if you need them, again, scan those barcodes and look for them at Target. And that's where I came across mine. Luckily, they were just sitting there. But to reiterate, these are new for 22, so you might not catch these until the end of the year. They're lightly hitting Target stores now in Southern California. But I am curious to know what you guys think about these new figures. Are they for you? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything He-Man Wave 7. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, please tell me that there are more insect humanoid characters <laughs> and please make the mole rat octopus thing that that's just amazing big old like play set or just a monster i don't care just make all these weirdo things and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios